unimpeded. Now we can record unimpeded. Guys, this game is so fucking cursed. You guys, you do not understand. You have no idea. So after, Thank you, Stefan. Thank you, Stefan. Door open or closed? It doesn't matter. Nobody else is here. So essentially, let me run you down, uh, run you through what happened. We finished the full campaign for the Bardock DLC, but Done. then we realized, hey, yo, there's the stuff with Vegeta afterwards. Yeah, so we, sh like we should come back and play that. Oh, well, you gotta go out of town for a week. That's okay, we'll get back to it when you get back. And then I got back, and then immediately got COVID. And then I got COVID. <laughs> And then you went out of town. And then I came back. But finally, we recorded. After I recovered from being sick again. Yes, obviously. Yes. But you know what's really funny about that recording? No audio. Yeah, on, on, on the game. There was audio of us. You can yeah, hear you us Yeah, you can hear talking. us all day long. But we were talking about uh, Justin Briner's lovely performance as Vegeta. And he's fantastic. And we'll get to that. Don't worry. We'll, we'll play through this very short campaign here in just a moment but we needed to rant about this because we have been trying for months to get this done yeah i we are so sorry this is so late oh so welcome back to kakabar back vegeta rot kakabar yeah, yeah, yeah and we'll, we'll, we'll you know what we'll do it let's let's go we're going back in here all right uh, it's it's been a goddamn odyssey but the people deserve this reiner's vegeta yes that's that is all they deserve. That is the only thing you deserve. That is the maximum that you deserve for clicking on this video. Everything else is, I mean, I guess punishment because you have to listen to us, so. As, oh, uh, with my fucking uh, allergies. Vegeta of Planet Vegeta. Look at him. His my boy. Power level has earned him the respect of not only his fellow His seers, exceptional power level of, like, what, what was he as a baby? Like, or as a boy, like, he had, like, I can't remember. It was what was his power level as a kid? I mean, it obviously wasn't ten thousand because that's Broly. Yeah. So he he like maybe it was like four. That story. Maybe fucking. He's, oh my god. He's probably god. like up there around five, six. You know, he's 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 probably like equal to where Nappa eventually gets to be. Several days after leaving Planet Vegeta. Planet Frieza, training room. Planet Frieza, wow, he's on like the capital planet. Yeah, the okay. planet F. Will do. I do love Briner as Vegeta though, like as baby yeah. Vegeta. Also, okay, so, question. Which hairstyle do you like most on v the kid Vegeta? Do you like it where it's just his adult hair but on his tiny little head or do you like it with the bangs because I, I i prefer the bangs personally like muppet baby vegeta with like the the troll doll hair uh like the widow's peak i don't know yeah because uh, like i won't lie uh in super uh they like in in like the broly movie when they show kid vegeta he's just got regular ass vegeta hair but in the z stuff like in bardock yeah he's got the bangs and personally i agree the bangs yeah. like the bangs I also like that he's wearing that his like Majin Buu get up here. I just recognized that too. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't, I didn't think of that until just just now. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> no gyaing. He might have survived if he just hadn't gyaed. No. I love Nappa's non-conventional Saiyan hair, by the way. Like yeah. he, he has the most normal hair of all Saiyans. Yeah. Well, this. Uh, so this is all based off the Bardock stuff. So this was before. Yeah. This was before Toriyama came up with the rule that Saiyans have the same hair from the day they are born. So here they were like, Nah, he's got hair. Also, the complete and utter assassination of Raditz here, where Vegeta is beating up, uh, what was that? Four of what would eventually be his equivalent. What a terrifying well, okay, so. Like, you have to wonder, uh, the Cybermen. Yes, sir, Briner. Do you think that they actually, how do, we, how do I put this? Do you think they improved on the Cybermen over the years? Do I mean, they had to have, right? Yeah, like, do you, like, I'm wondering if this is like an earlier iteration of them where they're not as powerful. That might be the case where, like, you know, over time they were able to make hotter and hotter peppers. Cybermen just got spicier and spicier. Oh yeah, no, just uh, to make them more powerful, they've just upped their ca capsaicin level. Yeah, do you th do you think Cybermen taste like plants? Like they taste like vegetables since they are grown out of beans? Oh my god, what if they taste like a mixture like of meat and What if they are the impossible meat? Oh no. Maybe also, I'd like to point out, I'm really glad that we are so far beyond the original Z dub in terms of characters being able to swear 
and just talk like normal uh, people. Like one? I, I never ever want to hear Frieza scream, "Die you!" ever again. There, I never. There's, there's, there's a charm to how rude. Okay, yeah, no, there's a charm to how rude. But darn you, coming out of any of these characters. Oh, hey, Quee, what's up? Also, going back through this again. <laughs> Fucking Quee walking in here, wa strutting up to a five-year-old, like, what are you up to, you little bitch? Yeah, no, this man has beef with that toddler. He has no self-respect. I believe Vegeta is six here, actually. Yeah. And, and Quee, Quee is really starting shit with a fucking kindergartner. Yeah, he's, he walked into the kindergarten room, kicked over Vegeta's blocks, and said, what are you going to do about it? I'm your rival, asshole. Yeah. Fucking Quee. Yeah, I am. You haven't heard. What, what's Nappa Who thinking throughout this? Is like, this is real sad. And you are this rivals. is, like, because at, at this point, Nappa being full grown, he's he's it's gotta be a little stronger than Vegeta at this point. He's essentially Vegeta's guardian. <laughs> yeah, but here's, so oh, okay, here's There's the weird no thing that I didn't think about like last me. time. Kui must be weaker right now than he was in the first Oh, of course, of course, but how much weaker? Like, apparently much, much weaker. Because if you think about it, there's no way that Vegeta's up near 18,000. So do you, do you think, like, Kui is just a generic Frieza soldier that had enough attitude and gumption to get himself, like... Like, is he a Frieza sergeant, basically? Like, yep. just just a rank above the normal peons? I do I'm think that he must be Vegeta. in the elite class, right? Not like, if he's strutting up to Vegeta and talking shit, he's probably in the elite class. He's strutting up to a toddler, man. That, that I mean... A pool could probably do that. <laughs> a pool served on Frieza's ship. Well, he really did, though. You want to settle this rivalry of ours and find out... God, damn. straight want, up calls it a rival. I, I, I want fucking, I want Virginia to just be like, oh, I, excuse me, I never used the word rivalry. I, okay, I never used that word. You used that word. Prince you you just came in here, started talking training. shit. I'm just in there beating up vegetable people and... Don't care. Like, I, I was going to go and, like, do my coloring after this, but sure, I'll also throw in an ass whooping. Yeah, I got, Why not? I, I got finger painting at five, but okay. I guess I'll, I guess I'll replace the red with your blood if you, in fact, bleed red. <laughs> I don't. Okay, well, whatever. Well, whichever color you bleed, I'll replace it. I bleed translucent. Well, what's the point? <laughs> Clear blood. That would be interesting. All systems are going. You can start at any time. Oh god, why am why am I facilitating this? Oh my god, what if he just bled white? I right? I might not be able to control myself. Better give up before you die. Oh my oh. god, this hasn't even started. You're about to throw hands with a like a 6-year-old. A 6-year-old and you are seriously trying to talk your way out of it before this happens? Look out, Quee. He's 10 levels lower than us. Um, I, th I think this might have saved our previous... Oh, no, did it? It might have, but you oh. know what? That's that's fine, because, frankly, this wasn't a challenge the first time oh, anyway. No. no! Bye, Kui! Oh, no. Bye, Kui! Ah, okay! I'm warmed up now! <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it, it, it absolutely it definitely, saved... It definitely saved what we had when we previously played. You know what? Honestly, good. Now yeah. we can just get through this and, and talk about the stuff we want to talk about. like you be this powerful? Because I've been training constantly. I never stop. And what have you been doing? Like Throwing Cyber back Dosakis and... Just to get a little stronger. Being a womanizer and... I don't know what adults uh, what, do. What, what do adults do? I don't know. I haven't been sitting on my ass all this time like you. <laughs> something I want to point out. Accept it. I, I, something I want to point out. So, Justin Brenner's performance as Kid Vegeta. I fucking love it. Inspired, he, he, um, but also he is nailing the inflections yeah, and no, he, like, he has of... The, he has the attitude. Yeah, it's like, and it, it, it's, it's not even just like being tough. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm listening to young Chris Sabat's Vegeta. It's so cool. Next time, though, you're dead. Straight up starting a blood feud with a six-year-old. Come on, man. Yep. You 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 gotta like this guy has to live at least 500 yards from a school. Like, and not even because he did anything gross. He keeps trying to fight them. 
Yeah, he just he needs to prove himself to the next toughest kid in the kindergarten room because he can't fight first graders. But remember this, little prince. Do you think? Do you think like when he was in school, he was just bullied so hard that now he's trying to work his way back up? Yeah, he has to work his way up the like uh, elementary school hierarchy. But are you two finished? <laughs> I'm trying to school this boy. Uh, sir, you got your ass handed to you. Shut up! <laughs> Glad that's over with. Me too. He was running his mouth, so all I did was put him in his place. <laughs> he was running his mouth, so I sent him running. <laughs> I bet he's pissing himself. Now that he knows how tough we Saiyans are. Yes, we. <laughs> <laughs> we. Oh, okay, all he right, look. You just want to throw we around, that's sure. fine, but. He'll be stronger next time we meet. Hopefully. And I'm God help him if he's to not. Be honest, I plan to use him to better myself. He is but a stepping stone towards the Maybe crown. But you're, you're going to get the crown either way. You're, this is this is a patriarchy thing. You're, you're, it'll, it'll be handed oh, down to you whether right. or not you... Oh, whatever. Idea, Prince Vegeta. I hadn't thought of that. Um, Prince Vegeta? Uh, sir, can I go on my lunch break? <laughs> we received word during your training earlier that your next target has been decided. Cool. Ha, perfect timing. Now I can actually have some fun. Oh, this is going to be This is going to be good. brutal. This is going to be great. Would like I I had right zero away? troubles with this the if first so time. This time is like No. I don't I think I used a single recovery first. item in the last time we played through this. I think you only did on like one. I don't think I did at all. Oh. I mean, I can't prove it anymore. We deleted that file, but I I yeah, I, I'm basically immaculate. <laughs> Loading. He's got to go. He's got some business. He's gonna go do business. He's he's gonna be a Vincent adult man and go do business. Yeah, he has to go to planet Triceraton. I don't know. Oh wait, first diplomacy. What do you want? Uh, excuse Zarbon. Have you not? How do you not know he's supposed to be there to, there to talk to Frieza? You're his like yeah, at, at this position, doing? left hand man. Yeah. Well, technically right, because Frieza's. Turned around presently. See, this ain't no place for chumps like you, you know. I'm here to pay my respects to Lord Frieza before I depart. There's no need. Oh, okay. He's just he's he's here actually uninvited. Oh, yeah, he just, he just walked straight past oh, he, reception. He, he's like, I sir, so you can't go in there. Oh, I, oh, uh, Mr. Frieza's Frieza? brooding right now. <laughs> Mr. Frieza, a, a toddler is coming into your room. Vegeta, I trust you'll do me proud. I will, thank you. <laughs> There's no need to thank me. <laughs> I wonder if Frieza's already decided that he was going to destroy the planet at that point. He said he trusts us to do him proud. That's a good question. Like, I feel like, it, when did he actually make that decision? And no, we're not including fucking Beerus telling him to do it. That will never be canon to me, eat shit. Did Beerus tell him to, or did he add, like? I thought I thought the thing was like he asked Beerus's permission. Here's the which thing. I also hate, by the way. Like it's it's like really vague. Some it's interpretations are he had. literally told him. But Other no. interpretations are he was going to tell him to do it, but he did it without being told to do it. I don't know, it, honestly. I, I, I don't like the idea that he'd be like, "Hey, can I destroy this planet full of people that I don't like?" Yeah, sure, why not? I don't I think mean, I don't think it's ever implied that he asked permission. I I, I, I I thought there was like I thought there was one interpretation that I heard that he like in Resurrection F or something like that was like wait didn't like didn't you give the okay or something like that? I don't know. It's it's, it's stupid. I hate it. I, there are some retroactive things that I enjoy in Dragon Ball, and then others. Anything that takes away from the original story, I do not like. Which um, all of the minus stuff. Sorry, I I do not like that interpretation of Bardock. Even if it was done to its best extent in Super uh, Broly. I thought the way they handled it in Super Broly was pretty all right. I mean, I never read Minus, so. And then the granola arc happened, which you haven't read that, but. Oh, boy. No, I, 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 I hear there's some immense bullshit involving Bardock in that. I'm getting readings in a few other spots. Maybe we ought to strike there. Scatter their forces, you know? Nah. Fine. Looks like we'll have to split up. Nappa, 
You take the other side. You take the southern hemisphere. I'll take the northern hemisphere. Uh, okay, but the southern hemisphere is basically unpopulated. Perfect. There's no need. We'll just push through on our own. Oh, okay. I love that. Just, oh, okay. If you end up dying here, that'll just show you never had much skill to begin with. I don't need Saiyans who go down so easy. You got that? I don't need any sluts on my team, Nappa. Slut Saiyans. I think it's time we got started. But do you even know what that means? I mean, it means you're easy, it, right? You're no, you're an easy back. fight. Yeah, that no, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I do like that back to back. Oh yeah, no, that's good. That's real good. Vegeta's almost as tall as his torso. Got it. All right. Now the question is: Do I prolong this by actually going through like all of the rigmarole fights, or should I just go for the big one? I feel like I can take the big one. I th I think that's the only challenge. I mean, it sort of is. I mean, it really depends on. <laughs> yeah, there, there's, there's, uh, there's our triceratops. Oh my god! People. Can you really just run through all of these? Yes. Oh no. This used to be a two-parter, by the way. This might be a one-parter. I want to see what level four enemy strength looks like. I think it's the only way I'm going to get a challenge. Like, I'm gonna let my Vegeta show. <laughs> sorry. You're not sorry. You'll never be sorry. They'll be sorry. Trash sure loves to clump together, doesn't it? Once sure does. Here, this will be ours. I like the, I like their fucking I masters of the universe designs. They all look like Dragon Time Quest enemies. Fun. Oh hell yeah! If your if your enemies in your Dragon Ball RPG look like Dragon Quest characters, you did it right. All right, here have uh, one of these. Here you can have a little hell as a treat. Only because you've been good and it is your cheat day. Okay, yeah, I don't... Oh, 1,250, no. by the way, is the number I have to beat. Oh, no. So I don't even know how much time this is actually going to save. This is just a prologue. Okay, this is sad. <laughs> I, 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 I genuinely feel guilty. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just mashing circle. You mother... How dare you? Oh, there's another 10 dead. I'm wondering what your fucking uh, level 3 is going to even yeah, be Yeah, I, I, I need to know how many, like, because I don't know if it's percentage-based or if it's just numerical. Or if it's based off my damage boost percentage. Don't lose your combo! All right, let's do it. All right. Prepare for oblivion. I'm uh, more of a Skyrim kind of guy myself. Oh my I like god! Morrowind. Let's see. 123. All right, that's, that's okay. Oh no! That guy. It's, oh no! It's that guy. Okay, so at least he's lasting for a couple hits. Look at him. He's so tall. He's an elite. The Triceraton elite, or whatever these people are. I don't know. They all they, like the 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 uh, armored ones seem to dress like Bugs Bunny in an opera short. I miss Dino Saucers. What is Dino Saucers? Dino Saucers was this cartoon from the late 80s, early 90s, um, and it was just about uh, a bunch of dinosaurs living amongst man, um, but being ke kept secret by a bunch of kids. There was a war going on. It was very Transformers in that way, where there was a bunch of good guys and a bunch of bad guys. Um, they both had very distinct leaders, uh, uh -huh. and um, but instead of transforming robots, it was uh, dinosaur people. I remember a cool toy line that I think I saw like one episode or two episodes of the cartoon of called Dino Riders, where they basically just had like cybernetic dinosaurs. Oh yeah, Dino Riders. I yeah. remember that. Cool toys. Yeah, actually. And that was like, not that most of these cartoons aren't made to sell toys, but that one was especially oh, like, hey, yeah. we made a toy line that make a cartoon around it. 
hell, I believe that's literally what He-Man was. Oh, I, of course. I, I mean, that's that's absolutely what Transformers and G.I. Joe was. Yeah. A lot of those things were toy lines before they were uh, cartoons. cartoons. Honestly, I feel like that's what's killing like a lot of uh, networks nowadays. They don't make enough uh, toys based off of their show for like their show first shows, and that, it, it bothers me because there have been so many shows that I've watched that I've really loved, but then they're like, "Yeah, we weren't making enough mer like money off the merch." Young, My brother young, in young, Christ, you weren't making the merch. Young Justice, I think, was like the the first big one that I I know was like uh, it was too popular with girls, and they don't buy the toys. It's like. Fuck you, it was a good show. They make stuff that girls will buy, you dumb fucks. Girls buy stuff. Girls girls buy stuff all the time. Hell, there's a huge overlap with the stuff that girls buy, but you just don't... Ugh. Oh, level three again. Come on, come on. Do the thing. Vegeta, Vegeta, Vegeta. Do the fucking thing! Jesus! Pathetic fool! Kaboom. 118 that time. Oh man, diminishing returns. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, so, uh, a little late to talk about this. It, it was something we talked about last time, but might as well run through the rigmarole one more time. Mario movie. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, it's not perfect, but you know what? For what it was, I thought it had like all the charm it needed to. For the record, I liked it more than I liked the Sonic movies. Yeah, if I wanted to watch a perfect movie, I'd go watch everything everywhere all at once again. Yes, I will stand by that fucking statement. But yeah, I know. How could you not? The movie's amazing. Uh, but in terms of like... Okay, so if we do want to do the Mario vs. Sonic thing, which I don't think there's anything wrong with doing the Mario vs. Sonic thing. And now that you have another direct com like way to compare them. Yeah, because now we have like these two pillars of video game movies, like, you know, in the modern day. I do have to say that in terms of, in terms of which is a better movie, I might have to say the Sonic movies. Like, in terms of its plot structure, its... Uh, co coherency, it's consistency, but in terms of like what is a better video game adaptation, Mario might just speak it out on that one because it keeps it like it is incredibly authentic. I just I just enjoyed Mario more. I, I I found its like wit and sense of humor more charming than Sonic's, which. I mean, you know, case in point, I, I suppose Sonic is still very on brand that all of its humor made me, like, super eh, but I, I, I've just never been into Sonic in general. I mean, I'm a huge Sonic guy, um, although I still struggle to call myself a Sonic fan, which, uh, um, but I will say it's... I'm just trying to see what happens if I get the damage boost up higher. I get you. I haven't used the level three yet. Uh, but no, Mario, like, in terms of being authentic to the games, Mario beats Sonic hands down, like, all oh, over. Oh, every time. Um, I, I, I can scarcely name a Sonic game that is better than a Mario game that isn't one of those, like, at the Olympics things. No, no, no. I, I said in terms of, like, its uh, uh, authenticity. In oh, the movies. gotcha. Yeah, no, in the movies, Mario, oh my god, there's so much stuff in the Mario movie that is, like, it is a feast for the eyes, especially if you're somebody who loves Easter eggs and references. That wasn't even that much more. No. Not worth it. Uh, but I will say, I, in, 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 in that regard, it's a really fun watch. You're just going to, as you're watching, you're just going to be like, oh, hey, here's all that stuff that I loved as a kid packed into one movie. Yeah, I'll say I was never bored during Mario. Oh, no. No, never got bored. Couldn't get bored. Like, uh, there's a billion things happening. There are people that I've talked to that have seen it multiple times. I don't know if it's worth that many rewatches, but I, I, definitely, I, think it, I think it's perfectly charming and perfectly fine. It's, it's definitely one of those movies that when I was a kid, you know you go through that one phase when you're like some, somewhere between like 5 and 10 where you'll just watch the same movie oh over and God. over and over. Yeah. Mario definitely would have been one of those movies. Oh, my God. Yeah, absolutely. No, the Mario film would have been one I watched a billion times over. Which, mm. you know, hey, congratulations, Illumination. There's a reason that it became the best. Ooh, strong uh, twins. Yeah, there's a reason that it became the best-selling. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it grossed like gangbusters, man. Yeah, it's. In fact, I think it, it's on its way to being one of the most successful animated films of all time. I mean, its opening was insane. Um, but yeah, I, I can see kids 
absolutely loving this shit. Also, it is really funny to me though um, when people be like, you know, there's some stuff in here that if you're not, if you don't play Mario, you're not going to get. And I'm like, why would, why in the world would anyone ever see the Mario movie without playing the game? Like, no offense, but that just seems like you're setting yourself up for failure in the first Yeah, you're place. playing yourself at that point. I mean, I can understand some parents. Actually, no, I don't even think I can understand some parents at that point because the parents at this point grew up in the era of Mario. Yeah, no. So, um, like... You're at least summarily familiar with it, unless you were one of those people that just... I don't know. I, I suppose there are people out there that never got into video games. I assume by this day and age, that's much rarer, but... My problems with the film ultimately just kind of came down to, hey, there's a bunch of, like, story stuff here that just kind of never gets resolved or, or, or touched upon in any meaningful manner. I don't mind, like, oh, yeah, by the way, we've got power-ups. And our, our, our world is... Yeah, li li literally power-ups. Yeah. That's, that's all they are. And our world is incoherent nonsense of colors and shapes that just and float in... horrific and OSHA violations. Like, But they don't have OSHA, so it's fine. Yeah, like, I don't mind any of that. I'm completely 1,000% fine with them not explaining any of that. But then you have stuff like, hey, Toad shows up and this immediately becomes friends with Mario and immediately starts helping with everything that he needs. Um... Fucking Peach is like, yeah, I, I came here as a baby. Oh, and? That's oh, yeah, it. They're, they're, they just whole hog uh, do the plot from uh, the 90s Mario movie. Which, honestly, I'm kind of a big fan of them taking uh, a plot that could work and then making it work. Yeah. Um, but, like, nope, we never get an ex explanation about Peach. They're probably just going to save that for another movie. Set which, up for a sequel. Um, but, like, as a, a standalone film, though, oh, that kind of feels sort of underwhelming. Like, also, um, like they they had this whole thing with like, oh, uh, Donkey Kong is trying to impress his dad, and it's like two things, like two actual like lines of dialogue that touch on that in the film. It's like, okay, two, like two shots to set up this character arc for fucking Donkey Kong. Um, also, I can't really forgive them for splitting up Mario and Luigi the entire film. And then not giving Luigi anything to do. Yeah, I so, loved I loved Charlie Day as Luigi. I thought he sounded great. He was so good. I honestly, when I heard him, uh, like he was being gonna play Luigi, I was a little hesitant because I like Charlie Day. I do, but he can be really annoying. Um, so I was like, I hope to God that they don't make Luigi an annoying character. And no, he's adorable. Yeah, he's he's he's, he's one of the more genuine characters in the movie. I love that. I love that about him. Because, you know, sometimes the coward character can be, like, really annoying and you don't want to, like, follow them. I, I, lo I love the scene where he walked into the castle. He's just, like, freaked out by everything. Oh, finally safe. And then you see he's surrounded by shy guys. And Which, by the way... That's a great shot. Yeah, being being surrounded by shy guys in the dark, that is, that is actually, like, nightmare fuel for anybody who's not familiar with those characters. Yeah. And, of course, Jack Black as Bowser is an amazing highlight. Oh, my God. I feel like they animated specifically, like, they, I, it definitely felt like um, they were trying to capture his essence Yeah, throughout. just the, come, jam with me. Yeah. Like, also, we're down to the last three. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to explain, but it definitely feels like they worked very, very closely with him to make sure his Bowser was just absolutely as uh, accurate to his expressions as possible. Yeah. Um, a lot of care taken on him. Well, well, always still kind of, like, to me, he never felt like, I've heard some people say, oh, um, you know, Donkey Kong just feels like uh, uh, Seth Rogen, and uh, Mario just feels like Chris Pratt, and Bowser just feels like Jack Black, and, okay, yeah, I can definitely get Seth Rogen as, like, for, as Donkey Kong just being Seth Rogen, okay? I, I agree. I still think, I actually really like him in the yeah, role. Yeah, I thought he was fine. Yeah, I, I still I really thought like if him. you were going, to, like, if Seth Rogen was going to play any character, Donkey Kong makes sense. He also, he's also really boisterous, and I really yeah. appreciate that. I like the fact that he's this big old meathead, but he's not stupid, and that was a really good effect that they gave. Like, that really worked Donkey Kong there. It took the last guy to get me down to my final health bar. But Chris Pratt as, uh... He was fine. Yeah, he was fine. He was like, actually I, I know, just like, fine. everybody was, like, dreading that, and I'm like, why? He's been fine in every single thing he's, like, voice acted in. Yeah. 
Um, and some people also think that the accent kind of goes up and down. Yeah. I, I, I thought it was fine. Like, maybe there were some lines where it was less apparent, but it also, never... Also, congratulations, Toddler Vegeta. You just committed another genocide. This, this is not his first, nor will it be his last. <laughs> this ain't my first genocide. Got his report. Working on it, Prince! I'm still fighting, but I've wiped out about 80% of them. Nah, Got pretty it. good. Give them hell to their bitter end. <laughs> I'm almost done here. You got it. Yep. I just imagine him sitting in a bar somewhere. <laughs> oh, sorry, I gotta kill you guys. Boss's orders. Nah, Does we... his little finger thing. <laughs> nah, we get it. Later. Boom. It is really frustrating that in this DLC, we do not get that cyber connect. Uh, like that stank? Yeah, no. It's really frustrating because it's literally the only reason I care about these games. Yeah, this is this is fine. Like uh, honestly, I'm glad they added this to the Bardock DLC because the Bardock thing was pretty short. That's new. Never been As opposed to this, which will be a single video. This this will be in fact a single video. It was once two, is now one. We have become more efficient. I mean, that's because you skipped all the fights. <laughs> Uh, did I? <laughs> did I really? Okay, you skipped the same fight four times. Yes. I think they actually added most of the guys to that fight. Because I think I beat the same number of characters just in one fight rather than four. Yeah. And what? What do you think that is he's eating? Is it like a, it looks like a French toast stick to me? Oh, that's a that's a um, it's like a calorie bar, I bet. Yeah, yeah, like, like a calorie mate. It's uh rations. Huh. Mm -hmm. He's eating a ration. And what? Oh. Uh, well, that was it. So I don't know how I feel about this, this characterization of Kid Vegeta two. not being affected at all by his planet being destroyed. I need yeah. To ask Lord like it doesn't conquer. it doesn't line challenge. up with the way that he talks about his race. It, it really puts it into perspective because we both just saw Bo is Afraid last night and he gets some catastrophic information at the beginning of that movie. And <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, Joaquin Phoenix is just fucking amazing. That, mo that movie is going to be very divisive. I loved it. Most people are going to hate it. You, you just want to make sure that we talked a little bit about Bo is Afraid. Just a little. I, I, look, I, I love Ari Aster's weird, weird bullshit. And that movie is full of weird, weird bullshit. Yeah, that was our review of Mario. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I didn't realize that that was going to be the only fight. I thought we had more. No, I, I, I man, I, I cannot in good conscience go through city after city in this after realizing that we were already too strong. Yeah, I know. That was really <laughs> funny. Just but that, that is essentially all of the story this game had to offer. So Yeah. Honestly, it, it kind of boggles my mind that there's even this Kid Vegeta stuff in the first place, if that's all they were going to do with it. What's weird is I remember seeing some, like, imagery of the giant apes in a playable form for some reason. Like, I don't know, like, huh. like I, I saw a screenshot somewhere of a giant ape versus a giant ape. I have no idea where the hell that is. Uh, that would be cool. Yeah, but... I don't know. Uh, apparently, the next DLC is supposed to be the Budo... Like, the... the you know, tournament with Goku versus Piccolo Jr. Which I'll the, be very interested to see what happens. Is that the twenty third? I think it's the twenty third. You're That's the nice. only one I know that would know. Yeah. Uh, oh my God, these Cybermen are strong. What? But, but I'm actually very interested in seeing what comes of that because that was not a flight heavy fight in this game. It's it's fighting mechanics are all flight based. Yeah, I mean. At the very least, though, there is flying in that arc. It's true. I'm just, I'm just very interested to see, like, are they going to change anything up about that, or is Goku going to be standing on the Nimbus? Like, Goku can fly at that point, but I'm wondering actually if we're going to just kind of like have a lot of ground combat, which. But I don't know how they do it. Here, hold on. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and bring something down to the ground and actually fight it. Come here. It wouldn't even fight me down here. What? It just ran away. Trash. Yeah. Uh, Garbage. What? What? Come here. Come here. Come fight me, you coward. Okay. I'll, I'm going to get your attention. Okay. I got somebody's attention. Come here. All the way down. Wait. Get into the fight and then go down. Okay. Let's, let's see if I can... 
All right. Just, okay. I'm on. This is as much on the ground as oh I can be. Oh my god! You literally can't even stand on the ground. Yeah. So it'll be interesting touching on some Dragon Ball stuff when this is what it is. Like, I imagine if they did, like, true Dragon Ball things, you could just have Goku fight on the Nimbus, but that would look really weird. I'm So, I'm curious, maybe... Uh, well, no, because if they're going to do that, they're already going to explore part of the game. Because I was thinking, oh, maybe they're, maybe they're uh, working through, um, like, or trying to introduce the gameplay mechanics for the next Kakarot game, but where you play through all of the original Dragon Ball. But the, you'd, have to, you'd have to make an entirely new game. I don't know. Either way, I guess we'll find out when that DLC drops uh, next time, eventually in the future, on Kakarot. Vegerot. Vegerot. Which is actually what they called Vegito in the Viz manga. I recall. That's really bad.